Right guys, welcome to another War Jeepney Battle Report and I am fielding my uh, Ito clan guys with my blood brothers versus the sisters under the prefecture faction and we are playing the messenger uh, open messenger so we have nominated our messengers uh, mine will be Mizuchi and his will be Tenchi who should be around there and that is Tenchi, that is his messenger so anyway to describe the war bands uh, Erwin is running the three imperial sisters he has the grey pilgrim Tenchi there who is his uh, VIP and Matsu so he has a lot of range threats here with the bow and two call lightnings uh, he's only running battle plans as his upgrade for my side here I have uh, Mizuchi which Mizuchi which has the Arashi's fan I have the three Izu serpents I have the blood brothers and their uh, servant Baichi and I have Matsunagi that has uh, on him a Muramasa blade and Itsunagi's gambit I will also have Dark Secrets as an extra event upgrade to my warband. So first turn roll off. I make a five, he makes a two. And I will opt for him to go first. He has around how many pass tokens do you have? He has five pass tokens because of battle plan. So I start my turn by removing Alder Key to remove the net sentence. Okay, at the middle of round one, I ran my snakes forward, I advanced them forward. I have Matsunagi right here, Baichi right here. I have the one blood brother here, the other one here, and the other one right there. Mizuki Zuki is right here in the middle. Over at his side, he has the... Who do we have here? Grey Pilgrim over at that corner. Tenchi over here, Matsu over there, and the three sisters. And right now, I'm going to move forward Mizuchi and I will try to Hypnotic Gaze uh, Tenchi over there. On oh, Hypnotic Gaze, I have three dice. He has two. I make a seven. Makes a four. So, uh, stunned and loses an activation. He is now activating Mats over here to hit my Cobra Strike. Cobra Snake with a uh, lightning attack on three dice. He needs a seven to hit. And that is at zero. So hitting at zero, uh, roll for damage. And that is a six, so zero damage. The Cobra survives. So we are now at the end of turn one. I have my blood brothers and servants here left behind by the faster uh, Ito clan members. Uh, they're guarding Mizuki over there. I managed to run Masunagi over here behind the uh, cart, right beside the Grey Pilgrim and Tenchi. I have a snake here, here, and one here which is blocking the path of these three sisters. He just moves his sisters and he uh, makes Yishi, am I correct? Yang oh no, Yanjing. Focus, and that's the end of turn one. And we are now going to make the roll for turn two. And I make a one, he makes a five, and he starts off turn. Start of the turn, I'm going to use Dark Secrets on Tenchi, and he has to make a uh, challenge test six. So, needing a six, nope. he fails. So, Erwin act activates Matsu to make a call lightning on. Matsunagi, uh, that is a 7 to hit on 3 dice. And hits for 0. Damage roll is an 8, so hits for nothing. 0 damage. I'll activate my Izu Serpents. I'll make the Cobra attack from there. The Asp move and attack uh, the Grey Pilgrim. And that snake will just stay there. So we're resolving the Cobra first. Uh, I'm, he's all on attack. He has reach. I'm on defense. I make a 4. He makes a 7. So that's 3 damage in plus 2 dice. And the Cobra is killed. 
and then now on the uh, steak. dice, obviously. I hope it misses it. Makes a six, so that's four in. So it's still dead. But at least the Grey Pilgrim is now facing uh, that way. And the Grey Pilgrim is now exhausted. Okay, I'm going to use the control token and I'm going to make Tenchi run towards my guys here. I want him to land on the water. So that's where Tenchi is. So he activates Tenchi and attacks Matsunagi at the back. Uh, so Matsunagi is surprised. And we have a melee exchange and the children are happy to watch Bushido. I spend four lightning reflexes. I'm striking first and I'm on three dice. And he spends key for an extra dice. And I'm going all defense. He has one attack. I have a six, uh, seven, so it blocks. So I'll move Mitsuki around here. And the children are cheering for me as they want me to win. And I will make an opposed key test on Hypnotic Gaze for the love of the children. I roll an 8 and he fails. So Tenchi is now stunned aside from being exhausted. So she is going to strike my Boa Constrictor. Okay, so 1 on defense. I roll a 1. He has uh, three, four, three, four five. five, even minus three. Even if he rolls a double once, the snake is killed. I'll just move Shenjiki forward here. Staying well within three inches of Baichi. So Yan Jing walks over and is going to shoot uh, Shenjiki. Six to hit on three dice and he rolls a five. A brutal six. So you make it at zero damage. That's a bad roll there. Too bad. And 8 does 0 damage. I'm activating Showang and he will run right behind his brother over there. So Urwin passes and I'll now use Baichi to order the brothers and they now gain an extra activation. So tired, tired and this brother over here, Shenjiki now has 2 activations. So Yi Shi spends three tokens to give a three key tokens to give an activation uh, to who? Yanjing. To Yan Jing, the girl with the bow. And that is her sworn sister ability. ability. So I'll now activate Shen Jiki, one of the blood brothers. Walk using the road towards his active ability to give rivalry to his other blood brother here. Uh, that is Ying Jian. So rivalry to Ying Jian, uh, active feet, spend two key on that, and then walk over to Tenchi and attack Tenchi in a melee exchange. Okay, Tenchi is exhausted, stunned, and being ganged up on. So he's running on zero dice, so I have plus one dice. I'll go all in attack. He's got one on defense, and I'll make my roll here. I have a 5, 6, 7, makes a defense of 2, and I will prowess this 2, and it becomes a 6, 7, 8, so I am 6 in. Does that guy have armor? Yeah, armor. Armor 2, so dice minus 1, because I'm sword plus 1. So dice minus one is still six damage to Tenchi. So Yan Jing over here reloads and she is now tired and it is now my turn. And I'll activate Cho Wang. And with the road I have a six inch walk. And I will attack Tenchi. Okay, so uh, he's running on negative two dice. So that's four dice for me with powerful attack and brutal. And that's uh, six, seven, eight, brutal, that's nine, and he rolled a four. Then she is skilled. So I activate Matsunagi, I make him brutal, giving him his cleave ability, and I'll go over here to attack the Grey Pilgrim. So I go two on two, he goes two on attack, one on defense. So here we go. I defend with a seven, attack with a five. His attack is a six. So I defend and he attacks with a 3 
and I am a I'll see if I can pros me ladies for something better too. So I was brutal, so I'm dealing a base damage of four. He's got armor one, but I'm sword plus two, so dice plus one. And that is a nine, so a total of five. Five damage to the Grey Pilgrim. Is the Grey Pilgrim dead? No, still alive with one life left. So Yan Jing makes a sworn sister to who? To Yishi. And she's moving to make a range attack against which one? Against Sho Huang. So their kids are very excited on that seven to hit on three dice. And that's six, seven, eight. So it's doing one damage to Sho Huang. Uh, brutal, so two damage plus die roll. Oh my gosh, <laughs> double ones. So does. Uh, zero damage, I believe. Zero damage because that's a three, bow plus one. Zero damage to Showa. My blood brother here will declare a charge against the Grey Pilgrim. Uh, moving through the road, so that should be ten inches. He's running on one dice, striking first. I'm on, uh, I have an extra dice because of my rivalry. So he makes a four. On his, uh, I have a five. I have pros melee one. So I have a six there. So base damage of two. Armor one, sword plus one, but I'm charged two, so dice plus two. And that is a two plus two, four. Four is a minus one, so I deal uh, one damage. Exactly one damage and that kills. So we have our fair share of double ones today. Good thing I charged. So Yiji moves four inches there, and I will just make Mitsuki pass. And it's Irwin's turn again. He still has the three sisters there and Matsu. So Matsu over here will do a call lightning on this guy. Show one. Seven to hit, and that is a hit on zero. So rolls two dice. That is a five and a five. So that's a plus one. Uh, is the is her call lightning uh, plus zero? Uh, it's plus zero. Yeah. Yeah. So one damage on uh, Showa. Now Raijin's rage to his brother over here on a six, and that is a seven. So dealing one damage. Uh, one damage plus two. But I am a uh, tough one, so deals two damage to uh, the bald blood brother. And that is uh, Shenjiki. So two damage to Shenjiki. Raijin's rage to the other brother over there, needing a six. And makes an eight. So two damage uh, minus two is zero damage. Not a bad roll. So it's all Irwin's turn now. All his activations now. He moved the she over there. Here come the sisters. Yanjing will reload. Yanjing is over here. Right there. And Yiji's last activation. She has cloud walk, so the water does not affect her. And she'll just move over there in position, and that's the end of the third. Okay? And that's the bell for round two. Turn three. I make a three. Three, so re-roll. Oops. Let's try that again. I make a five, so I'm activating first. So I'm activating Mitsuki, targeting Yiji with my obey. So I rolled a four, five, six. You rolled a four. four, so she is now under my control. Moving Yiji near. Is that to make a range attack yes, against range attack. who? That snake lady. Okay, snake lady. Okay, and let's see what happens. So needs a nine on three dice. A rush is fun helping me out there. Six, seven, eight, nine. So hits me with zero uh, because of brutal. But you have a bow plus one. So that is a nine. Deals one damage. One damage to Mitsuki. 
activating Mitsuki, 12-inch uh, key feet, uh, hypnotic gaze to stun Matsu on three dice. He has two dice resistance and I have base dice of three. So I make six, seven, makes a four. So Matsu is stunned and minus one activation. So Yan Jing reloads and she over there uh, uses her active key feet to give Sworn Sister an extra activation to her. So she still has two activations, correct? So reload for free. So I'm going to activate my controlled model here, Yiji, and make her walk over to Matsu. And we'll have a melee exchange with Matsu. So Yiji attacking Matsu over there. Uh, I have three dice. Matsu is down to one dice because she's stunned. Alright, so I'll go combo attack, all attack. And he's on defense. I make a six, seven, eight. He makes a two. So, uh, yes, yeah, prowess, yes. So he's going to prowess that. So a six. So I'm hitting for two. So first damage two plus six. So that's just two damage. And the next one is uh, for the zero combo attack. Six and a four. So one damage. So that's a total of 3 damage to Matsu. Uh, she will make a charge action. Go ahead. She making a charge action against Mitsuki. So fear test 5 first on 2 dice. You need to make a fear test 5, which she does make, so okay. So we now go to the melee exchange. So 1 dice, he goes all on attack. I make a 5, he makes a 6. And two dice, no prowess. I believe she has no, a yeah, uh, she prowess, has prowess melee. melee. So you may reroll one to make it a seven at least. Seven. So that's two damage. I have no armor, you have plus one. So that is two damage. So Mitsuki is now down to three life. So I'll activate uh, Ying Zhuang. Uh, this guy over here, Chenjiki, will give rivalry to my activating guy as an active feat and he will move 6 inches through the road and attack she and we will now see a brother versus an imperial sister so she is exhausted and surprised but he spends key to uh, go up to 5 dice I'm running on 6 dice I will go for combo attack 2 on defense I am an 8 versus what did you roll? What is that? Five, six. So six, so I'm two in on a combo attack. So I'm dealing a base of two damage and then I'll, I'm rolling three dice because he's an assassin. So that is 11, so that's a total of four. Four damage for the first strike. And for zero damage, that's just zero damage. So I deal just Four damage. Oh, Yishi is moving towards uh, her sister. Six inch move because of the road and she has cloud walk. So she gets over there and she's now exhausted, exhausted. I believe. Okay. So Shaw Wang will move six inches and engage the girl with the bow. So I'm spending two for extra dice. I'm now running on five dice. You're now running on four dice. On so here's my roll. I rolled a... Six, seven, eight, and attack. Three for his attack and eight for his defense. So we're tied at eight. I'm brutal one, so I'm dealing uh, one damage to you. So my blood brother has faint, so reroll the six, please. So you're now a seven. So I'm now two in with my brutal. Two in. Plus seven, so just two damage on Yanjing. Yep. Two damage on Yanjing. So he's activating Yanjing to make a disengage against my guy. So I spent to increase my dice pool to four. He's running all on defense. Yes. All on defense. So kind of useless defensive move there. What's your... Makes a six. Seven. Seven, eight. I missed by one. I have prowess two. So I'll reroll this. Hoping for a six to land there somewhere. 
6 and a 7. Uh, 6, 7, 8. So he wins. Uh, she successfully disengages. Shenjiki will move over and attack she over there. So you are triple ganged up and exhausted. So I'm on 5 dice. He's got a defense of 6, not bad. I have a 6, 7, 8, so dealing 2 damage to her. And I believe she's killed. Yep, uh, she's down to her last life, so she's dead. So Matsunagi will move 7 inches going here, passing through the road. And use him to attack uh, Iji. So I activated my Brutal there, so I'm Brutal 2. Uh, on four dice, uh, he's all on defense. I've got three attack. I have a five, a two, and a one. Uh, you have prowess first, you may prowess your one. And I will prowess this one. So I'm a seven, a brutal two, eight, nine, versus an eight, so I have one damage in. Uh, my armor, you have armor? No? No armor, so I'm sword plus two. And I make a 10, so that gives me plus one more damage. So three damage total to EG. And that's the end of turn, turn three. So I did move uh, uh, Maichi over there. I'll just make him focus. Turn four, he makes a one. And I make a four, so I will activate first. Activating Mitsuki, and I will walk here and attempt to stun uh, Matsu over there. Uh, but he has resistance one, so I make a six, seven, six and seven. But he have resistance plus one, so uh, that is resisted. So Matsu walks uh, six inches through the road and will uh, call lightning on who? I guess on this yeah. guy first? Mm -hmm. Okay, on him first. Okay, so first needing a 6-2 hit. That's 2 damage on this guy. Uh, 2 damage plus... Uh, that is 2 damage. Agent's Rage on the Snake Woman. So that's a 5, 6-2 uh, hit. But I'm large, so back to 5. Yeah. And that is a 7. So 2 damage. Raijin's Rage back to this guy here, and he needed a 5, 6 to hit, rolled a 7, seven so 1 damage in, plus minus 1, so 0 damage in. So as payback, he will give him rivalry, and he will make a walk over here, and attack Max. So here we go, he makes all on defense. Defense of 6. I have an attack of 7. I will prowess this one. So 7, so I have 1 in. 1 in. And deals 1 damage. So Matsu is still alive at 1 life. Activates Yanjing. Uh, Yiji, sorry, Yiji. To attack Matsunaga. So I activate my lightning reflexes. I am striking first. And I'm rolling four dice that on his three dice. And here we go. Defense of two. Prowess. Make an attack of five, six, seven. Go ahead, you may prowess that one. <laughs> defense of zero. Not gonna prowess anymore because she's killed. Oh no, defense of two. That's a two right over there. So defense of two. Five, six, seven. So I'm dealing five damage, and she is killing. Uh, I'm activating Matsunagi. I will give him cleave, so it's now brutal too. And I will walk over and attack Yanji. Going all on attack. He's got he boosted four, one dice. I am brutal three right now. I've been neglecting Itsunagi's gambit. I make a six. Seven, eight. I'm a total of eleven. And then I prowess. Okay, go ahead. So you are a total of eight. eight. 
So I am 3 in. 3 in. That is actually uh, 3, 4, 5. 5 in. Uh, actually, 6 in plus my sword. So Yan Jing is also killed. So all of my activations left. I will activate, activate Baichi and give an order to uh, my guy over here. So with uh, Matsu tied in and I move my guy here and my other guy there, I'll be able to get into this deployment zone and get that final VP. So for this game, the Blood Brothers win against the Imperial Sisters.